ladies, gentlemen, and of course, the YouTube comment section. Hello, and welcome back. Uh, so we've got another uh, project of just absolute riveting, riveting content. I've um, got to make an adapter. Um, I've got a distro coming up that uh, hopefully will be out soon that is using an L515 connector. Um, not very popular in my world, although they are requested occasionally. Um, so the problem is, in my shop, I don't have an L515 uh, on any of my shop distros or outlets. The other thing is, since this distro will be powered with an L515, um, the infrastructure that the facility has, that this is going into, has L515s, but I want to provide them with uh, adapter cables in case they take them out of that facility so they can't use them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a female L515 um, adapter cable to a male uh, Edison. And again, not really the most interesting content in the world, I know, but uh, the L515 is kind of cool, and I feel like a lot of you guys look at uh, look at my videos for power and distros and that kind of thing. So, figured it would be cool to show you the adapter. So today, we are making the we're using the Hubble HBL 4279CBK. That is Charlie Bravo. Huh? What's K? Kinetic? Kaleidoscope? In the alphanumeric? God. I think I lose a nerd. I think I lose a nerd card for that. Sorry, I tried to make my my NATO phonetic alphabet joke. I don't know what K is. It's got to be kaleidoscope or something like that, right? I don't know. Sorry, this is uh, the point in the day where I'm actually losing my mind. Um, okay, so again, this connector builds like a regular Edison. So you know, I mean, again, I'm, I made the joke about this not being particularly riveting content, but you know, it is kind of interesting. So um, what would be cool is to show. So this is a screw connector. Um, this is this is pretty common for most for most Hubble stuff. Um, I like to use these Lex connectors. These are the X515 series x515 um, they are very cool looking and way easier and faster to build because they have these little tabs on here so in case you're wondering why i always use those connectors uh that's why so anyway sorry i'm already making a short video too long by yakking at you let's build this connector so housekeeping because of course i have to sell you something if you are interested in an l515 to edison cable by all means buy it from me <laughs> You can uh, check the link in the description below or something that is floating above your head in this sort of sort of area. Um, the other thing that I would like to say is that uh, I do have an Amazon store that shows uh, all the tools that I use. So if you're interested in any of the tools, uh, particularly like this cool Klein screwdriver that I just got, Ben made me get this. Tech, technician Ben, who's been appearing in some videos lately, said, I can't believe you don't have a ratcheting screwdriver. And I thought, do I really need one? Which he emphatically said, yes. Yes, you do. So I got one. All right. Basic cable building procedure always goes. This is a three-foot cable. Figured that this will get me out of my distro and uh, or any wall pocket and plug into the, the distro, and it would be okay. So, I mean, again, just peel this back. Uh, well, I believe that Letter Kenny said that this top isn't considered a knuckle. So it's I can't really say one knuckle. We're going to say an inch and a half. I like to I like to cut these longer and then trim the conductors back because it just seems to work a little better that way, a little bit easier. Um, I left my lav mic at home because I did a bad thing and took LM equipment home. So I currently have my camera in a POV kind of situation with a shotgun mic on top. So it's making all of this just a bit awkward to build. So I apologize for that. But like I make the same joke in every video, I feel like you guys aren't coming here for the stunning video quality in production right at the end of the day i am a sound guy so again strip these guys back using a klein catapult 
There's your non-paid promotion. I just like Klein Tools. Um, so at LM, uh, we have a new technician, and that is Ben. Ben's been working with me. Uh, if you, uh, you may remember Ben from the Rent video. He uh, mixed our monitors and did the band mix for front of house. And uh, he's been working here now since then, which has been kind of cool. But it is, uh, it is nice having a fresh perspective on tools and things like that. Because we here at LM like buying tools. So anything that will make your life easier, I'm always a huge fan of. My line is, should we get that? Let's get that. Because uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not. Sometimes building cables is not real fun. <laughs> and you have to build a lot of them. So, you know, anything that you can get to make uh, make that job go a little bit quicker is always good. Um, so I always kind of talk about these, these little burgundy uh, Klein cutters. They are truly the nicest cutters. I have these. I have so many pairs of these. So I like to put everything together in kits. So like uh, for building a network cable, as an example, I have a little bag that has all of the network cable equipment. Sorry, it was just easier to do that off camera. All the cable stuff. So it's got a punch down tool and a stripper. It's got a stripper and it's got a tester and all kinds of stuff and keep these in there. And that goes for my uh, SDI kit also. Time we're crimping BNCs, I will keep those in there. Anyway, it's a long, long way of me saying I like those little side cutters. And this little ratchety screwdriver thing is pretty cool also. It's got like 15 bits. So shout out to Ben. Thanks, bud. It's a good recommendation. And, you know, if you want to buy one, get it from the Billy Amazon store. Nothing says real YouTuber like an Amazon store, right? Like, I feel like uh, my my very uh, poorly produced videos are turning into sort of like a real, a real channel thing. So, of course, because it's an LM product, ABB, always be branding. There has to have some type of heat shrink on there. We were joking the other day that the, uh, the difference between... Um, between a hobbyist and an integrator is just the amount of heat shrink used. And I use a lot. All right, y'all. Well, there you have it. The L515 to Edison adapter cable. Again, I know that this is riveting content, but if you guys are out there looking for uh, looking for examples and kind of interesting things to incorporate in your rigs, this might be uh, the helpful. The L515 connector. Often not talked about, but uh, man, Hubble's got some deep stuff. They have all kinds of connectors and stuff that are not are not really popular and as you can probably imagine the thing that i like the most is finding the uh, the deep dark recesses of people's product catalogs and ordering all the things that nobody likes because i am always a fan of the weird and esoteric anyway thanks for stopping by again if you'd like to buy this cable there's a uh, link in the description below that you can check out uh if you're interested in any of the tools on this ever popular messy desk uh check out the amazon store and the uh in the link below anyway thanks for stopping by as always do appreciate you guys watching catch you on the next one Bye.